I think my piggy's gonna be in her new shelter. And she is. Hi, lady. What are you doing? You wanna go for a tiny little ride? Hello folks, I hope you're doing really well. Today I'm going to do a bit of a barn vlog slash update video because it's been a while since I've done a video with the ponies that's kind of up to date. I've done a lot of like videos using older clips. Hi love, but I haven't done one in a while where I've just come out, filmed my rides and things like that. Everybody's coming over to say hi. It is currently hotter than a mofo and I'm out at the barn way later than I would normally be. Normally I would come out around four, it's seven and I just got here and it's still like 28 degrees but cool enough for me to get on. I'm gonna get on Eve bareback and do a little short little ride, 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm hopefully gonna have a ride on Merlin. We will see. There's been a lot that I've been working on with, oh my God, hi champ. There's been a lot that I've been working on with both Eve and Merlin and a lot of improvements have been made since, especially with her, since the last time that I would have posted some riding footage. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. So isn't it crazy that it's actually been a whole year since this lady and I became a partnership? a year since I started riding and working with her, and it's been the most magical, educative, educating year. Um, here, we'll give you some bug spray. I know. I have learned so much from her so far and look forward to continuing to learn a lot from her as long as she's here. Sadly, it's likely that she will be for sale within the next few months, as she is a resale horse. Aren't you? It's up to my coach when to decide to put her for sale. And until then, I will continue working with her and riding her and developing her because I just love you, don't I? Yes. She's come through a lot in the last year and I'm actually gonna be making a kind of one year OTTB progress video later in the month. The last time that I posted anything about Eve would have been in a video that I did about a month ago about kind of spring cleaning. I had posted about that she was having some contact issues. I tried her bit list and it seemed to work. But then I wrote her bit list a few more times after that. The contact issue persisted. I did some brainstorming and I had a couple of lessons with my coach, who's her owner. And we determined that the issue wasn't actually, well, it was a contact issue, but it was stemming from something else. It was a response to inside leg issue. The main thing that I've been working on with her on the flat over the last month or so is just basically inside leg to outside rein. Until very recently, she's been very sensitive to the leg, so she was having a hard time distinguishing between leg meaning over and leg meaning forward. So we've started doing some baby leg yielding and just introducing the concept of lateral movement, which has helped with her response to my inside leg a lot. I was getting a bit caught up with fiddling with my hands when she would come out of contact. Like I was using the leg, but not in the correct way for her. So it took some troubleshooting, but we figured it out. Sometimes you need to go into a tough place like that to come out the other side with better knowledge and understanding. This experience with her of coming to understand that the issue was an inside leg issue will help me in the future with other horses that I will hopefully work with and train. She is so much better now. She's so much happier in the contact, so much more consistent because I now know when I feel her coming above or below the contact that I need to put a tiny bit of inside leg on just as a reminder rather than fiddling with my hands. In the last five to six weeks, I feel like she's really come along not only in her response to the inside leg, but as a result of that bend and her contact and her canter. Oh my God, her canter has improved so much. Hopefully, You'll see a bit of that tonight. Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you play a favorite 
favorite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs Make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds So this lady was fantastic. She didn't work very hard, but it is hot, so she's a bit warm. So we're just walking out. She keeps like nudging my bum with her head. Easy, <laughs> stop it. Can I catch you doing it? No, of course. I'm super pleased with that. A good rundown of what we've been working on lately before I go away, because as I'm filming this, I'm two days away from going on a trip, of which there will hopefully be a video of. So I'm gonna be away for about 10 days. She's either gonna have time off or one of my coach's students will ride her. But as she is likely a sales horse, it's probably a good idea for her to start having some other people ride her. Oh, goodness. Oh, God, stop nudging my bum. Are you gonna do it again? Oh my God, stop nudging my bum with your head. And that's your Evie update. I'm gonna finish walking her out and give her a little shower, put her out and grab Merlin. <laughs> so she's all showered and she got me equally wet in the process, but I'd be lying if I said I was mad actually quite refreshing. You can probably tell from the light that sunset is approaching. It is golden hour, which is my favorite time of the day. And that also means that I'm on my way out to get the prodigal child, not Merlin. Actually, quick little update on Safi. So Safi is, if you know, she's been in a few videos, a little Arabian mare that I was doing some positive reinforcement work with. That work is currently on hold because she's temporarily, I think, in a different herd and that herd isn't as easily accessible so for her comfort and the comfort of the other horses in the herd, I'm just letting her be. It's not gonna hurt her to sit there. So she's still potentially going to be on the channel in the future, but not, probably not in the next few months, probably something more in the winter. So what has Merlin been up to? The last time that he would have been on the channel was in my recap video. So you would have seen that I free jumped him. He's coming along pretty well on the flat. I had a lesson a couple weeks ago and we determined that he's going decently on the flat, like there's not any huge glaring errors with him for his age. God, that's pretty. Um, for his age. So instead, what I'm working on right now is just continuing working on consistency and things like that, but also my position and seat on him because I discovered a few weeks ago that I cannot sit his canter. My coach noticed something that since I've been actively focusing on it has helped a lot. And I will go over that a bit when I'm warming him up because it is now eight, 12 p.m., way later than I'm normally ever out here. And I'm gonna do a super quick ride on him, like super quick, 15, 20 minutes max. Come on, my son. We are backlit the house, but that's, a, oh, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? And so what, okay, you two, rubbing your face on my bum, just like Eve was. Like brother, like sister. So I'm kind of racing against the light, so I'm gonna keep this brief, but something that has changed with Merlin, or changing as of tonight, is this. So we're gonna try this. He also goes just as well bitless, but it's helpful for him to know how to go in a bit because bitless is not legal in a lot of showing. I'm gonna go straight out to the arena and then I'll chat a bit after about what I've been working on or I'll do a voiceover, whatever's quickest.
tells me stories of life in a more perfect place where I wanna stay. walking out and he's quite sweaty because <laughs> it's warm and I'm annoyed to say that what I've been working on that I wanted to show you doesn't quite show in the ride the footage that'll be in is not my best riding because I've been working on sitting his canter in my dressage saddle with longer stirrups and I thought well my stirrups are currently on my jump saddle I don't feel like switching them over so I'll just use my jump saddle with longer stirrups well yeah, that didn't work out. I would have been better off riding in my normal length stirrups and trying to sit the canter than trying to sit the canter with my dressage length stirrups and my jump saddle. So lesson learned, but he was pretty good. I'm not sure about the bit. He wasn't worse, but he wasn't better. But it's probably also that I've just got to give it more than one ride before dismissing it. Hi. He's never had a straight bar bit in his mouth, and this is a straight bar mullen mouth happy mouth. I'm going to finish cooling him off, and then we'll debrief a bit more in the barn. Easy. While he's been drying, I've actually had a bit of a look back at the footage from our ride and I'm much happier with it 15, 20 minutes later than I was right when I got off. And I'm gonna try to look for the positives in it. Hi baby. Because he is only four, so I can't expect every ride to be perfect. I do notice he has a lot more blood now than he did last year, even in the warm weather like today. He's just so much more energetic and it's not coming from his feed because he barely gets any. He's on 24 seven turnout, 15 acres. It's just, he's just coming into his warm bloodiness. So the energy is good because last summer riding him could be a full body workout because he needed not encouragement to go forward. He just, he was lazy. He was less consistent today than he's been recently in terms of contact and moving off my inside leg and things like that. As I mentioned, it was also his first ride with a new bit. Previously, this was the bit that I was using. It's a Boucher double jointed um, with a copper roller. Recently, he's been opening his mouth more and more. So what I bought him to try is this. It's also a Boucher, which he seems to like, but it's a mullen mouth, Happy Mouth. I got it from Bar Saddlery here in Canada. It's Equikind. Pretty affordable, about $65, and I got it in a sale, so it was like 50 bucks. So I'm pretty happy with the quality of the bit, and I will say I did kind of take a quick look through the footage, and he is opening his mouth way less. So I do think he likes it. He was just more inconsistent because it's a different feel and it's going to take him a bit longer than one ride to adjust to like a new type of mouthpiece. Got to give him a little benefit of the doubt. So all in all, I am actually quite happy with that ride. With babies, it's going to be up and down. And even when there's been a down, I always try to look for the up because that's a way of framing my mindset. I will insert some footage from a lesson that I had a few weeks ago that I was going to use in another video, but I'll insert it here. This was from the lesson where we first started working on on my seat at the canter and what my coach noticed is that and I know this in my head I've known it for ages that I lean forward a little bit when I'm cantering which means that naturally my seat is going to be harder for me to sit I'm right now basically just working on sitting back further than is comfortable and even then I'm still not sitting vertical I'm still a little bit forward so it's going to take a while to overcome that but the elbows are a work in progress. But right now I'm going to tackle my seat first because I feel like I can competently use my hands even though I do have straight elbows sometimes. He is now going to go on a little vacation because I am going away to Calgary out in Alberta for 10 days to visit a dear friend of mine. I'm hoping to make a little bit some kind of video out of it because I'm going to Spruce Meadows and hiking and lots of pretty stuff. So there might be a video from that more just for my memories than anything else. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe down below and leave a hello in the comments because I love chatting to people and meeting people in the comments. And this guy, oh hi baby. This guy is going to enjoy a well-deserved two weeks off and then he will come back into work and we'll get to going on some exciting stuff. But until next time, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Don't forget to give your horse or pony a kiss. 
risk mm. or a bite the next time you see them. Not we, but I will see you next time. Bye.